Hello, everyone. Welcome to the VHS Podcasts. Of course, with me, as always, is the Lord Heroicus. Hello. He is both my lawyer and my doctor. And today we have an interesting topic, as usual, because we never have a boring topic, ever, right? No. Never. Game controllers. At least... Pretty much every gamer has used a controller. Unless this is the future where controllers are obsolete and you use your mind now. Or then... if you're a PC gamer that somehow <laughs> enjoys that. Yeah, if you've got carpal tunnel syndrome, aka PC gamer, then uh, yeah, of course, the keyboard. But we're yeah. going to talk about our favorite ones. Our favorite controllers, not favorite PC gamers, because that'd be a short mm. list. Yeah. So, for you, what's so, your favorite, just out of the top? Well, I wasn't aware you were going to change the topic to be favorite game controllers all of a sudden, but uh, I, thought <laughs> this gonna, I thought this was going to be like, just discussing like most of them. At least the ones we've well, used. Well, what we're going to do is we're going to discuss the favorite ones at first, and then we're going to branch off I, to, like, general I, discussion. I see. So, I guess two of my current favorite, at least the ones I'm using, are... I don't know exactly what it's called, but it's just a generic Xbox controller. And you can either hook it up to your actual Xbox, or it can be paired to your PC through a dongle or through Bluetooth. I don't have Bluetooth on my PC. I just didn't bother to get a card for that, so I just got the dongle. Um, works pretty well. It's nice. It's fairly small. It's, you know, it's got a good grip. The buttons are nice. Um, and it works for, like, certain games that, you know, maybe it's a console port or it's a... Like, the Resident Evil games, for, ex for instance, uh, it works very good on controller. Um, I I tried a little playing it on PC, but the problem is I don't have a proper desk set up where I can actually put the keyboard on that. So I have to put my mouse on a mouse pad on top of a book on top of my bed, and then I have the keyboard in my lap, and it, it just... It's not as good of an experience that way, so I try not to do it too much. Yeah. The only thing I bother with my keyboard and mouse is if I'm playing PUBG, because playing with a controller is just against people on keyboard and mouse. Is like, you may as well just kill yourself at the beginning of the match. Mm -hmm. Are we allowed uh, to say that? So, yeah, sorry. Um, on a live yourself at the beginning of the match. Don't worry, Venom. We're not monetized. YouTube can't stop us. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, yeah. Branching off, that is a really stupid thing that they care about. Um, that's dumb. But it's only in text form. Um, oh, so like if the, yeah. we had a description that said something yeah. or like a title. Yeah. Yeah. Then it's like it's a no, no. Uh, but yeah. Anyway, YouTube is so weird. Yeah. But anyway, yeah, the uh the Xbox controller is pretty well done. And also, the other one is the PS5 controller, which I've gotten accustomed to. I definitely love the So I mean, effectively, it feels pretty similar to the 4 controller except the tactile um buttons for like the um, the R2, L2 buttons. In certain games, particularly um, Horizon Zero Dawn did it, where it's like, it gives you resistance when you're drawing your bow, and it feels so awesome. Certainly it doesn't feel like you're drawing a bow, but, like, the extra resistance just, I don't know, helps make it a little more immersive or something like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, 
that's what makes me kind of jealous about get, uh, you having that PS5, because that controller sounds really good. Uh, so, on to my favorite. Speaking of the PS5, the PS4 controller is probably one of my favorites. I like the way it feels. The only thing I dislike is the weird plate in the middle. It gets yeah. stuck really easy. Yeah, I tend to... Uh, I, it was actually something I ended up doing uh, sometimes when I would record Let's Plays, and I know for certain when I was um, playing God of War uh, 2018, I hit a point where I was doing the Sigrun fight, and I was recording to try to capture it, and I would have like a really good fight and then I would click that. And it's just like, I didn't want that to be in the video. So I would just restart the fight and have to suffer further. Damn. Um, I haven't noticed that happening as much with the PS5 controller. It seems Good. like they push the buttons a little further away. And it's like, there's a separation uh, that's more noticeable between the 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 touchpad and everything else so i haven't really had that issue too much so yeah that's nice that is well then that's something to look forward to with the ps5 once i steal one um (laughs) another favorite of mine is the gamecube controller i love the gamecube controller it's so fun it's got the analog uh key uh buttons so they click it's like uh it's like if you were playing on a keyboard it's got the kind of thing going on yeah i've never experienced this one so i can't say anything about it it's very satisfying uh it it was good it was a good controller, and the GameCube was a good console. Mm. For the most part. I've I've been near a GameCube. That's that's the best I got. I don't think that's I ever... Hot. Maybe I did use one, but it must have been like such a brief moment that I just don't call it. Mm. Um, I'm going to take you back way back for uh, this next one. Um, the Atari 2600 controller. Um, the main, the main one that is, because there were many variants. Uh, there's one with like knobs on it and shit, but I'm talking about the one with the joystick and it's got like one button. Mm-hmm. I think that I think there's a button on top of the joystick as well. So there's that. That loved it as a kid, um, and it's pretty. It's used a lot. It's a classic design. Honest, yeah. I think they they are trying to basically emulate a micro version of like a game cabinet controls, but you know something you could just hold in your hand and mm-hmm. decent enough. That's another thing. Uh, game cabinet controls they they feel really nice. Mm-hmm. I kind of I kind of would click, like click, click, click. I kind of would like to get an actual game cabinet of something. I don't know what, but something. Get Doom, put in your. <laughs> There's a room. game cabinet for Doom. I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> and if not, you could just get a game cabinet and put Doom on it. I wouldn't be surprised. I I think you could. I wouldn't honestly. There's got to be someone out there that's like managed to make like an NES cartridge or even a Atari cartridge with Doom on it. That was just like really just compressed down to be really bare bones. Mm-hmm. Maybe, maybe not even the full game, but maybe just like the first level or something. And honestly, that'd be amusing to see. I would be. Uh, let's see. Uh, though not a favorite, per se. Oh, this isn't even the topic of favorite, just controllers. N64 controllers. The N64 controller at the time made a whole lot of sense. But going back (laughs) to an N64 playing GoldenEye with some friends a couple years ago, I didn't know 
what the do with the controller? It was really confusing, which is so weird because I used to play on the N64 all the time. It's just like so used to the two thumbsticks being right next to each other and the controller being like normal looking. Yeah. I haven't played on it in a while, but I have one and it was interesting. Uh, I think it took me a little practice to like get good with it, but you know, once I was playing it off and I, I, you know, adapted to it pretty well, but yeah, I just, it's been a long time. Yeah. I think the last thing funny enough was, um, There was a neighbor down the street. I guess, like, they had moved in or something, or maybe someone had passed and, like, some of the family came and then just cleared out some shit. They they cleared out and they left a bunch of free shit. And there were a couple of VHS tapes in there. And I'm like, okay, here's a couple of movies. They like There's, like, two things that were there. And I was like, oh, maybe I'll watch these. But I needed a machine. I I initially bought a player, but it um it had issues. Uh, you couldn't like fast forward a tape or rewind it; it would mess the tape up. So I like threw it away. Um, but what I tried to do, as just to goof off, is I got my N sixty four and I plugged it into the player. And I wanted to see if I could record that using the inputs. And I was successful in doing it. And it was pretty good picture because it was, like, nice and clear. Um, but, uh, yeah, otherwise the machine, like, had issues. I want to get another one because, like, I still have these two movies I want to watch. But, um, Yeah. And that was 2020, I'd say. 2021, maybe. So, Damn. I, I haven't... My uh, N64 has been out of box since then. I haven't touched it. And I actually... 20? I, I actually got Super Mario 64 last year. I finally found a copy on eBay that was not, like, $40 or more. I think the person wanted like twenty five bucks for one. I'm like, finally, someone with a reasonable price. Mm-hmm. Uh, I haven't, I haven't touched it yet. I think I just booted it up to just see, like, okay, it it functions at least. But I, yeah. I need to, I need to drag it out and get to work on it. I want to play that game. Finally, it's a good. Mm-hmm. I want you to play that game because hopefully in the future we will cover an episode on it. Yeah, I may consider, uh, even though I, for a time, I was considering God of War Ragnarok to be my last Let's Play. I think it was just going to be, I needed a break. I think I might do, I might attempt Mario 64. If if it ends up not being interesting, I'll at least play it and just maybe capture footage at least. But we'll see. Maybe I'll have a short series on it. of Because it'll mm-hmm. be something... Something that's familiar, yet I don't know how to do anything in it beyond run around the outside of the castle. Yeah, it's... It, I, I'm interested to see what you can do in the learning. You learn how to play, play the game, because it is an older game, and the controls show its age a bit, but it's still a good game, and yeah. it's worth playing. I did at least hear that, like, even though it it showed its age a bit, it's still very fluid for such an old game. Very true. So, like, that's good to hear. It's still considered, Mm -hmm. like, one of the best games, well, one of the best Mario games over 20 years later. Mm Mm-hmm. So, that's surprising to hear. Yeah. And by but controls, it, I mean more like the camera, because like the camera angle yeah. control stuff. Ugh. Yeah. But yeah, yeah. like Camera's running and jumping for... feels nice. 
Yeah. Cameras in old what? games were just generally shit. Mm hmm. Very true. But anyway, Very true. Um, let's see. The Nintendo 60. I mean, not the Nintendo 64. The NES, sorry. Um, had a very simple controller. It's literally just a directional pad, a select button, a start button, which usually were just used for two different menus, um, and B and A. Mm -hmm. And, but it was still so good. And I actually ended up getting, uh, at some point, I got a an NES emulator because while I still have the system, it struggles to work. A lot, because, like, it's just old. So, the only thing I got so far was um, Kirby's Adventure, because that was, like, my favorite as a kid, along with uh, the original Mario. And you can play with just your PC, or maybe you have an Xbox controller, but I wanted to keep the experience authentic. So I went and got these third party uh, plug in controllers that look and feel like 90% accurate. The only thing is the BA buttons, they're not flat with like a little groove, they're actually like rounded. So they feel a bit different, but like it's, you, you get used to it. Mm. I really wish I someone had just made a adapter that would just connect to the actual controller's, you know, cable. So you could right. just do that, but I don't know if it's... I don't know if that would work so, as well as I think it would. I don't know, honestly. Uh, but mm -hmm. for NES, I haven't touched an NES controller, I don't think, or if I have, it was like once, but I did play with an SNES and uh, its controller. Practically the same, but with a little additions. Yeah, yeah. there's more shit to it. Um... Yes, the SNES is a, also a nice-looking console. Yeah. I like it's... the way it looks. Is yeah. Oh, you mean the SNES? I, I have no idea what the SNES even looks like. Um, it looks like an SNES. Oh, thank you. Thank you for that You're clarification. Welcome. You're welcome. Um, and then the, uh, the Japanese version of the NES, uh, SNES is like the Super Famicom, which is the red. I like that, that, that aesthetic. The red Famicom. Uh, let's see another control. The Wii. <laughs> never had one. You never had a Wii? Uh, no. Okay, I played a shitload of Wii games, and so, the Wii has that motion sensor, but the thing is, it, it was incredibly weak. So they, they uh, they had to come up with this attachment that you'd stick into the controller to extend the motion. And then you would also have to get another extension for the motion sensor bar. And so it was like that thing had trouble from the start. But the thing is, is like the Wii was a great, was great. Or at least I had great memories with the Wii that I recall it being great. But uh, mm -hmm. yeah, that Wii motion controller. Oh, really hard to use sometimes because, like, you would aim it at the screen and the calibration would be bad. Then you'd have to go and calibrate it and it'd still not work. And then you would be like, oh, okay. Then they, you have to buy a fucking extension to put into the Wii controller. It's like headache. Mm -hmm. Good memories of pain. Yeah. <laughs> Um, okay, so, I mentioned I, I, like, have an Xbox controller for my PC gaming, um, never actually owned an Xbox, but I did play at an Xbox at a, at a, at a friend's house one time, and it was the Xbox 360. 
nice. That controller was fucking unwieldy. It was so huge, from what I remember. The 360? Um, yeah, at least... Either that or... I don't know, who knows? Maybe he had, like, an original Xbox controller? Maybe that was compatible? I don't know. But I just remember the controller was just... Compared to... At the time, all I had was the NES and a PS2 controller. Like, they were so, like, small, and the Xbox controller just felt fucking massive in comparison. Yeah. If I show you a um, picture of it, would you... Would it? Uh, let's see. Is this it? Yeah, that that that's looks, the original. Yeah, that's your yeah. I mean, that looks familiar, but it wasn't that. It, I remember it being shiny in some areas, hmm. and I know I know it was the 360. Oh, it was. Um. Okay. God, that thing looks even bigger. Yeah, that's the thing about Xbox controllers is uh they you're you're right they are a bit unwieldy. Uh the Xbox One controller is like you could throw it through someone's window and it could cause some serious damage. <laughs> ah, are you speaking from experience? <laughs> Venom's wish. old Venom's old uh uh, burglar exploits. His only weapon was an Xbox One controller. I mean, mm-hmm. not an Xbox One. I mean, the original Xbox. God, their naming system is so fucking dumb. Yeah, it it really is. It's like at least with the PlayStation, I know which ones. Like, oh, okay, the next one that's gonna come out is the PS Six. Okay, yeah. and then the Seven. But then the Xbox, the next Xbox could be like the Xbox W H E H, for all we know. And everyone at Microsoft will be like, you know what? That's great. They'll totally know exactly what the fuck we're thinking about. Yeah. But uh... like, I still don't know what the new Xbox is. Is it like an Xbox Series S or is it what? Who knows? Who knows? Yeah, because there's like. There's like the Xbox One, the One S, the One X, and then the Series X or something like that. It's like, God, mm-hmm. why do you, why are you people gonna be so damn confusing? Mm-hmm. But They're yeah, trying let's to be see. unconventional. It's like you know you can be like different by not just making <laughs> your shit confusing. Yeah. So yeah, let's go back to PlayStation. Uh, the first one, never owned one, but I did play one at a cousin's house. He had the uh, original PlayStation. And I'm pretty sure it was the version that didn't have the joystick, which, mm-hmm. ugh, that just, it looks so gross to me. An alien. Uh, yeah. Definitely preferred the PS2 controller growing up. And oh, yes. pretty much every new version I like more than the previous. So, like, I got the PS3, and, like, while the PS3 controller is not that much of a difference than the PS2, it's just wireless. Mm-hmm. Uh, it did feel a little better. The 4 felt a little better, even though it was bigger. It took a little getting used to. And the 5 is also a little bit bigger. I got used to it, and I honestly... I'm going to sell my PS4 probably, hopefully soon, because I've turned it on, like, one time since beginning of 2022 when I got the PS5. And it was literally just because I installed Cyberpunk. And I'm like, hey, it'll finally it'll run, like, reasonably good. And then it's like, oh, I didn't... I didn't allow the game to upload saves to the cloud, so I had to go on to PS4 and enable that just so it could port my saves over. And then I'm like, yeah, I've never turned it on since. Oh, shit. So hmm. it's like, you know, it's time to cash that in and maybe get three, four hundred dollars or whatever the fuck they're trending at. Good idea. <sighs> Is this a pro? 
it's yeah, it's a pro. So it's even mm. definitely what people are looking for. If someone's looking oh, for yeah. a PS4 still, the Pro is the best. Eventually, we're supposed to get the PS5 Pro, which will have more space and better performance. and Be available. Uh, yeah, I mean, the PS5 is a beast all by itself, though. I don't know. Um, unless it tells me it's like, oh, the, the Pro has like four terabytes of space and plays games at 300 FPS, guaranteed. Mm-hmm. And it like, and it like makes you a pot of coffee during this. Then maybe yeah. I'll buy it. Sounds but good. But otherwise, you know, if, if it's just like, oh, more space and it's seventy FPS, like yeah, that's not worth paying another five hundred dollars. Take note, I, Sony. What do you think I am? Some PC gamer? Yeah. Takes that. Honestly, I do Take play Take note, Sony. I do what? actually play on PC mostly, but I just had to make that joke. But yeah, it's easy. It's easy. It's low hanging fruit. It's just like right there. <laughs> yeah. Um. Yeah. What else? There's got to be another controller I can think of. Uh... Is a xylophone a controller? If you want it to be. Ooh. Maybe mayonnaise is a controller. Ooh. Just hook up some mayo to your PlayStation. Mm Mm-hmm. I don't... I can't think of any other controllers, actually. I think I've run out. Let's see. Hmm. Uh, well, we talked just a little bit about the PS2 and the PS3 controller. The PS2 controller, I have so many great memories with the PS2 and the controller. I could fit the whole thing in my ass. Whoa. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The, the, I, uh, the thing about the PS3, Two controller though I did not like of course is of course it's a product of its time it could not have helped this is the wire it was so short and like yeah that's why I like now I actually have my mm-hmm. PS2 on my desk so and I, I sit next to it so literally the wire is just like draped over the side and over my leg and it's just there's plenty of slack um, but before, I yeah, bought you had an to... accessory just to p- play a PS2 with a Bluetooth. <laughs> nice. And the PlayStation yeah. didn't even work. Oh, oh no! Damn. Uh, but yeah, I I liked it. Like you did have to sit pretty close, which was annoying. And it was actually a a problem. Um, mainly when I was playing it at the time, like me and my sister would play PS2 games uh, way back. We we had two dogs. One was a small Bichon, and the other one was a Border Collie. And they would play and, like, chase each other. And we had the thing in the basement. And, like, their kennels were in the basement. And they would just run around the basement and goof off. Well, sometimes they'd get rowdy and they would run right in front of us through the cords. And end up yanking the whatever system right out of the fucking, uh, like, little entertainment center we had down there. Um, Damn. So we tried to, like, sit closer with the PS2 and, like, keep the cords very flat so it wouldn't happen. It did happen a lot, though, with the NES, um, because those are really short. You you really couldn't just drape them on the floor and keep them low. Uh, That would just get yanked out, and it would instantly crash. Like, uh, like the screen would start flickering as it, like, the, the game actually stopped functioning. Cause, like, 
that's all that system took is it just took a tap and the game crashes. I don't know if it was like that from the beginning or if that was just a product of aging. I would assume it's always been a thing. But yeah, it had its issues with that. Um, we talked about 360 controllers, right? Yeah, a little bit. Uh, 360 controllers. I can't tell you. When I was younger, I had a bit of an anger problem. And I broke all this <laughs> stuff. I can't tell you how many 360 controllers I broke. There was this one 360 controller I think I told hold you. Up, hold up, hold up, hold up. But you, uh, you're, you're breaking up real bad. Here, one second. Sure. Can you hear me now? Yeah. So just start from, okay. um, just restart over the, where you were talking about the 360 controller. Okay, so with 360 controllers, uh, I when I was a kid, I had some problems with my anger and I broke a lot of stuff. So it's like, I broke so many 360 controllers and I think I probably told you this already, but there was that 360 controller that when I was angry, I'd like bite down on it. And like over time, I ended up like eating half of the controller because of that. Like half of the controller was gone and the, the machine parts were showing and shit. Hmm. Like the entire right side. I see, I wonder if I still have a picture of it, but it was like I would angrily gnaw on the controller when I would lose or something. So stupid. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, everyone listening, tune in next week when we talk about most edible looking game controllers. <laughs> the 360s on the top takes the icing on the cake. Yeah, uh, fucking PS3 controllers. Those things are flimsy. I don't know mm. why, but out of like out of PS2 controllers and PS3 ones, my PS3 ones, like my first party PS3 ones, would always break. And not even by me like doing anything bad to it. It would be like, for instance, with God of War Two, where you have to do the button mashing. It could not handle that. Yeah, that's something, um, I notice that mostly, like, if you have to use the, the bumpers to do button mashing it, it would struggle with that, and you have to do it in a different way than you do it on PS2, which was frustrating to relearn that, but otherwise I've not had much issue with them. I actually, uh, that was the first wireless controller I had. And it was such a nice upgrade from PS2 because, like, I didn't have to sit so close to my TV. Like, I could sit way back and relax. And I could... <laughs> I didn't have to worry about... uh If I just, like, suddenly yanked my arms back, I wouldn't be yanking the system with it. No. Yeah. Oh, that was such a relief. In the way of like accessibility, it is a better one. I'm I like, for instance, the fact that it actually held a pretty good charge for something that just started out being a wireless thing that had to be charged. Yeah, actually. that was a pretty nice. That was pretty impressive that it, it held that long. I it's really just the material that bothered me of the the bumpers, which is really just a nitpick. <laughs> yeah. It's uh it's I will admit with the PS3 and games of that era having the fact that it, game mechanics were tied to the DualShock thing really made it hard cuz uh I have a PS3 third-party controller for my PlayStation 3, and I can't play some games because of that feature is not available on third some third-party controllers. Yeah, I think you mean the um, the motion-sensing feature, not the DualShock. The DualShock is what the controller is called. 
they call it like the dual shock shake big fuck or whatever in the games it's some uh, weird shit ah uh, yes the dual shock shake mcfuck my favorite mm, uh, yeah. my favorite my favorite <laughs> controller feature <laughs> yeah um but yeah the ps4 definitely like smoothed out the issues with the the bumpers oh yes the, the bumpers uh, of the ps4 feel really nice yeah and even though I said it already, the the ones on the five are just even better. With well, a game that like Sounds features good. the uh, the haptic feedback and you know whatever, it's great. Even um, God of War Ragnarok had that. It was it didn't like resist as much as uh, Horizon Forbidden West did, but it's still like you felt like a tightness when you're like throwing the axe or something. So it's nice. Mm, that's cool. But yeah, in Forbidden West, you can at least use it to really dial in like how powerful of an arrow shot do you want to fire? Mm-hmm. And honestly, I'm still like as powerful as I can get it on. <laughs> Why would I want to fire a weak arrow shot? Mm hmm. Unless you're, like... I don't know. Why would you? Like, I guess maybe... Um... If you're shooting... Like, maybe if you actually just go hunting for animals and you just want to do a light shot. If it's... Maybe it... It's better to do that? I don't know. But it's still just something that feels nice. It's always nice when it's nice. It is. (laughs) Yeah, so fucking PS4. We talked about the PS4 controller already, but since we're talking about that, uh, th- yeah, they really did shape out the some of the shit with the PS3's problems with the PS4, and then introduced the plate to add a new problem in. <laughs> yeah, they're like, this isn't fucked up enough. We need to we need to even it out. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, let's see. Oh, and uh, I, I forgot to ha- get a chance to say this. Uh, the PS3's battery life, like, yeah, it works pretty good. Uh, can play a good while before you have to swap to another one. I always have, mm-hmm. for wireless, I have at least two controllers for everything. I ended up with three for my PS5 because one of them has a issue with like the R1 button. It like gets stuck so it's not usable. However, Damn. it's perfectly fine if I'm just going to use it to like pop in a movie and just plug into the controller and listen, so I exclusively use that controller for watching a movie. And the other two I'll just swap out for playing games. And the it definitely holds battery life pretty well, the PS3 one, because I played some PS3 last year, and then I think I booted it up recently for some reason, and it still had, like, two bars of battery left. And it's honestly, it's like, I think it's like four bars total. Could be wrong, maybe it's three. But, like, the first two take a while to go. The second one will just it hits two and then it's like an hour later it's gone. But that one last bar will last you like eight hours. I swear sometimes. <laughs> Honestly, yes. It, it, like you get a warning battery life low and then it's like a month later then it dies. It's, yeah, it's fucking weird sometimes. The PS5s, mm-hmm. however, I only notice it if I'm playing a shitload. But it would be almost every three to six hours you gotta like charge it. But when you have ones you can swap out, it's like not the end of the world. I just get up, shut it off, place it in the charging dock because I ended up with a charging dock when I got the PS5. So I just stick it in that. 
And it's easier than, like, plugging in the cable and just balancing it on something and hoping it doesn't fall. Right. Just, but, yeah. I think I've exhausted everything I gotta say about controllers. I think I have, too. This episode went on way longer than I thought it was going to. Typical. It is typical. Well, thank you guys very much for listening to us go on about the same four controllers over and over again for quite a while. <laughs> it's been appreciated. And like always, that's it. We cut the video right there. Okay. <laughs>